Okay, everybody, here we go. It's me, Gregory Manorino. It is Thursday, April 13, 2023. You know, I want to start off with this here. Um, there's a lot going on this morning, but just yesterday, we got the Fed minutes from their last meeting. What you and I have been hearing out of the mouth of Fed Chair Powell and various other Fed presidents uh, is the same story. No recession, no recession, no recession. Meanwhile, meanwhile, in the Fed's own minutes, they're predicting a recession. Um, again, where's the accountability here? Why isn't, again, this kind of news, um, I don't know, forcing our so-called representatives to call the Congressional Committee to look into this 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 charade that they're playing here it won't happen it never will happen again we have no representation anymore here in the united states or anywhere around the world it's central banks running the entire show i want to get that out here um i mean here it is another stunning admission it's in our face nothing gets done about it um it's it's an incredible thing um while we're on that topic why is it in your opinion and i want to hear from you honestly that the Federal Reserve also admitted that last November they knew, they knew that Silicon Valley Bank was in trouble. Meanwhile, took no action at all. Um, again, we, you and I, we know the real reason behind this here. Uh, this is uh, being allowed to unfold this way. It's a consolidation of the banking system, and we're not done with regard to this at all. So... Uh, Keep that in the back of your mind. So here's some uh, lovely news we got this morning. Um, so initial jobless claims for last week came in higher. So more people are, in fact, applying for first-time unemployment benefits, just as this thing is meant to do. Central banks raising rates, the Fed raising rates, crushing the consumer, killing the economy. That's what this is all about. And Fed President Dolly, yesterday, she admitted this, that the Fed has more work to do because in her opinion, the economy is too strong. Meanwhile, 50, what was it, 58? 58% of people living here, working Americans, cannot make ends meet. Um, it's an astonishing thing. They're living paycheck to paycheck. They lose one paycheck. They become homeless. But that's too strong for Fed President Dolly. Imagine how horrible that is. Seriously. Um, now, here's an interesting twist here. So the producer price index. This is um, one of the Federal Reserve's favorite indicators here. I want, to, I want to discuss how this is being twisted on the mainstream media. So here's the headline. PPI, producer price index, shows significant drop in wholesale inflation last month. Oh, really? Okay. How about year over year? We're rising at nearly 3%. Um, obviously, this is fake. All right. Uh, it, it's way, way worse than that. But what they try to do is they try to say, hey, look at what's happening here in the short run. Totally ignore what's going on in the longer run because they don't want you to know that. Oh, imagine my shock. It's incredible. Um, so... We're hearing a lot lately, even from the mainstream media, something that you and I have been talking a lot about lately, the availability of credit to small businesses. It's, it's all but drying up here. Again, why is this happening? Again, the Federal Reserve has been raising rates, raising rates, raising rates, and all this has been doing is lessening the availability of credit to small businesses which need credit to function, okay? Um, the whole system is credit or debt-based. We all know that. The major corporations, they have plenty of cash on hand here. The small businesses are getting systematically exterminated, systematically wiped out. This is the corporate agenda. You all know that here. But it's, it's interesting how they're allowing this to get out on the mainstream media. Generally, you won't hear this kind of stuff. They, they hide it. Um, but the truth is, look, the truth always comes out. Always. You can't escape it. I don't care how hard you may try to bury the truth, the truth comes out. Okay. Here we have a situation clearly where 
the mission here of central banks is to starve small businesses and the consumer themselves of the availability of credit. Again, fulfilling the corporate agenda, crushing the consumer, crushing small businesses that may compete at all in any way, shape, or form with the large institutions can't be allowed to happen here. It's uh, it's very disgusting. It's it's clearly exactly what you and I have said it would be, a wipeout of, of an entire class of people. The middle class is being systematically erased here uh, as we move forward. Now, here's another interesting piece of news we got from the International Mafia Fund. Lately, we've been getting a lot of, well, I would say little tidbits of truth here from the IMF. So we got a warning here from the IMF, and I want you to pay attention to this. IMF warns global debt levels are dangerous. Their words, dangerous, uh, and are hitting critical levels. So, I mean, is that a surprise to you or me? No. What do we know is going on? We are in the monster bubble of bubbles. Okay. This debt hyper bubble is beyond, beyond, beyond freaking belief. And what are central banks doing? They're continuing to inflate it here. It's going to explode. It's going to burst. Don't listen to Greg Manorino. Don't listen to me at all anymore. If you, if, if you want to, listen to the International Mafia Fund or the IMF. Warning. I mean, this is insane. We get a warning from the IMF saying that global debt levels are dangerous. Meanwhile, what's being done to stop it? Absolutely nothing. Absolutely freaking nothing. Now, here's something else that's going on this morning. I mean, we got a lot of information. Corporate debt levels. Corporate debt defaults. Okay, we know corporate debt is ballooning, and a lot of these corporations are trying to sell their debt. Guess what? There's no buyers. There's no buyers. Buyers are drying up. So corporate debt defaults are rising, okay? This is interesting in my view. We'll see how that plays out moving forward. Um, and let's see. And, 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 and I want to know what you think about this. So the World Bank, the World Bank, just so you know, is a for-profit institution. If you don't believe that, look it up for yourself. The World Bank is a for-profit institution. Now, the World Bank is planning on boosting its loans to poor nations. So they're creating more slaves. You understand? I think you get it. It's, it's pretty, pretty obvious here. So that's pretty much what's going on. Let's look over here at the market. Now, trading doesn't start for 25 minutes from the time I am doing this video blog. Stock futures are slightly in the green slightly in the green okay lovely fantastic beautiful and we can all you know get down on our hands and knees uh, how about no global bond yields are remaining stable people they're remaining stable this is an enormous effort you know how this works central banks getting in here buying more debt to keep the, the illusion real and this has been pushing cash into the stock market just as you and i would have expected but there are a couple other things going on cryptocurrency is getting bit higher bitcoin at over thirty thousand dollars right now. Um, you got gold and silver getting bid higher. Energy prices moving up. Crude oil. Uh, you just, I mean, you know this already, but I'm going to tell you: commodities, commodities, commodities. People moving forward. It's all about commodities. If you have not checked your inbox yet, if you are a subscriber to my free newsletter, link in the description of this video. I sent out yet another list of. Commodity ETFs, exchange traded funds, which will give you exposure to commodities. This is the easiest way to do it, though, in my view, people. Buy this stuff. Hoard this stuff. These, these two things that I'm holding in my hands right now, in my hand right now, this, these are the most undervalued assets on the planet, in my view. I mean, other than things like water, okay? Uh, we all need that. And we all also understand they're going to starve us. You heard about these 18,000 cows that blew up or something in some 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 place here in the United States here some accident caused 18,000 cows to just disappear I mean you can't make this stuff up either um, but again they, they, their plan here is to exert a lot more control on us and that means they're gonna starve us they're gonna cause us to thirst as well um, the entire world is coming apart at the seams it's and it's not by accident. This is deliberate. This is central banks who are running the entire show. Who, tell me again who runs the global economy? 
who runs the global markets, who runs the global financial system, who's causing all of the things that we're seeing right now, who controls the flow of information? It's central banks. Once you realize that, everything will become clear to you. All right, people, look, I think we, we've covered a lot here today. Please, um, I always like those thumbs up. And, and, and those thumbs up do a lot more than make Greg Manorino happy. When these videos get thumbs up, uh, they move higher higher in the algorithms and more people get to see these videos. And I'm, if you do nothing else, if you don't want to comment, that's fine. But please, give these videos a thumbs up. There's a link down here for a little thumbs up. It will help everybody out. They'll get to hear this information other than the propaganda that they're being fist-fed by the mainstream media. And let me ask you just real quick, what do you think about this? this um, the Fed Minutes? how they're confirming that they believe a recession is coming. Meanwhile, via the mainstream propaganda, you wouldn't know that because these same people are saying no recession. Explain that. Um, I think that's very, very, very troubling. And what about this PPI? Oh, it's being played up as the greatest thing. Massive drop last month. But year over year, we are skyrocketing. It's out of control. I'll see all of you later, people. 105 p.m. for my live stream. Pacific Standard Time.